We start with Marcus Atilius Regulus, the first Roman consul to invade the Carthaginian homeland, and the main character in the oversimplified videos. In 256 BC, they decided that something had to change. Hey everyone, my name's Marcus Atilius Regulus, and I'll be one of your consuls for this year. Look, as I'm sure you all know, Sicily's being a bit of a drag. Sure, I could go and spend my entire year as consul besieging one single city, but they'll never make a naked statue of me for that. So here's the new plan. I'm gonna skip Sicily entirely, take my army, and go right for the heart of Carthage itself. I'll slaughter the men, enslave all the women and children, and when I return, you'll all build a thousand naked statues of me. And in 256 BC, as the Roman invasion fleet made its way south, the stage was set for a humongous battle that saw 680 warships, around 300,000 men, fighting to decide the course of the war. To this day, the Battle of Cape Egnomus remains possibly the largest naval battle in human history, all the way back in ancient times. The Battle of Cape Egnomus was a Roman victory. After the gigantic battle at Cape Egnomus, the Romans were now free to land on African soil. And so, they did. The Carthaginians chose to focus on defending the city of Carthage itself. So the Romans immediately took the city of Aspis and were then free to raid and plunder the countryside. And they began advancing towards Carthage. Along the way, according to the ancient writer Livy, they encountered a literal dragon. Now Livy was a Roman historian, so his account may be slightly exaggerated. But this, I believe. In this case, when the Carthaginians again chose the rough terrain near the Roman camp, the Romans easily sent them packing. Everything was looking up for Regulus. Unfortunately for Regulus, the Carthaginians, led by Spartan general Zanzibus, defeated and captured him at the Battle of Bagradas River. After the Carthaginians sent him back to Rome as a peace envoy, Regulus encouraged the Romans to continue the war instead. Despite this, he fulfilled his promise to return to Carthage after the failure of his peace mission. The Carthaginians executed him, upon his return. As someone who kept his word, even when it meant his impending doom, the Romans saw Regulus as someone who exemplified Roman virtues. For this, they did create many statues of Regulus. If you like this video, please check out our latest upload, and what YouTube recommends for you. Also, remember to subscribe, so you will not miss any of our future recreations.